Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video I'm going to cover my key binds, my settings and how I uh, move stuff around and just all little tips and tricks based on that. It's going to be targeted mostly towards newer players but even people that have been, been around a while might learn some new things here. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. The first thing I'm going to show is actually in game settings. Now over here there actually are a few things you can take note of but there's only like really the main pertinent ones. Uh, this being the auto RAM cleaner, to me, I don't believe this actually does anything. It could. From everyone I've heard use it, there's no difference, all right? So don't even worry about that. Now, one of the main questions I get is what FOV do I run at? Uh, I'll show you the difference here with um, between 75 and 50, but really, I just find it easier on 75, uh, and it just feels more natural to me. Um, a lot of people have different preferences on this, but that's where I'm at. As you can see here with the FOV, uh, this is on the lowest FOV. When you zoom in, you don't get to see the scope as zoomed into your face. Then as well, using this, say, this pillar on the left, I'll bring it to the right hand side of the pillar. We'll move the FOV across to here. Put it on max. And now you can see a lot more to the left and right. But also when you zoom in, your head's a lot closer to the to the scope, and for me, I think this is amazing when it comes to ADSing. This is the Velde, by the way. The other one I would definitely turn off here, if you haven't got it down to the minimum, is the head bobbing. It's actually really annoying. Put it down to 0.2. You can get it all the way up to 1, and once you notice that this is um, on a 1 at default, you'll actually want to have it off straight away. So chuck that down to 0.2, and you'll feel so much better playing the game with that. Now moving over to graphics, I actually play in a windowed uh, windowed full screen, so borderless mode. To do that, you need to go to the launcher. I will show you that here, how to go over to the launcher. So now over with the launcher, you can click the settings button here. Uh, and when you scroll down, um, you'll see display mode. You can change this over to borderless, full screen or window. If you put this to borderless and then in the game, get rid of that full screen button. Uh, and then if you still have an issues where you can't take your mouse off, to uh, the other monitor because you're using multiple monitors, press Alt and Enter. Um, if you've got a in-game resolution as a low resolution compared to your desktop monitor, it'll actually um, do some weird UI scaling thing. Sometimes people like it, so other people don't, but it's up to you how you guys want to do that. Now back over to the graphic screen. There is a way of turning your VSync off in your NVIDIA control panel and turning the VSync on in-game and it will uncap your uh, FPS. I don't do that personally. I actually keep everything fairly simple with all my settings and how I play. Um, with the graphic settings, I put the textures up at high and the shadows on an ultra and overall visibility at max. Now, this is mostly to put as much load on my GPU as possible, but the rest of it will pretty much just go off. Um, I've shadow visibility is on 80. I've mucked around with this in RAID. There's not a big difference in no like how much you can notice it. I find 80 is just a, a, not, a fine number. Turn everything else off. This is all oh, this is my preference at least. Sharpness on 0.7, and then uh, you definitely want to turn off these bottom three. Um, hopefully, I'm going to try and get a few uh, one instance where I'm in woods during the uh, like sunset sunrise. Hopefully, this is playing in the background right now. And with these three turned on, you have like this really weird glow, and and the distance you can see is a lot harder. Like you can't see as far. Having these off is actually a massive advantage. So I, I can't stress enough, turn these off. It might take some of the load off your GPU and, and your graphics as well. And hopefully reducing some of that uh, those stutters, but we'll see with that. Now I'm hoping in patch um, 0.12, this will also become a lot better and the optimization of the game will be a lot better. Now moving over to sound, I keep everything, uh, overall volume and the effects volume on maximum. I put the interface down to 30. I find that um, when you're looting, it's really loud. And if you put this interface volume down, your loot volume goes down. Now, I haven't actually tested if this turns up and down other people's looting volume as well, but I find I can hear people coming a lot better if my interface volume is down. So I always keep that down at 30, but I still want to be able to hear like the loot noise. Chat volume, music volume, I've got that off. A lot of people um, like the, the music. I've heard it way too much now. I can't stand it anymore. And the music on Raid End, I'll turn that off. It just It's just not for me. Now, the next one I want to show um, is in the controls. Now, people always ask me if I've changed any of these controls around. I've only actually changed one. Now, I'm going to show you examples uh, why I do that. Um, and it's the discard button. It's default, default bound to uh, delete key. And it's too far for me to use with my left hand. I have to move my hand across the whole keyboard. And I've actually got it set to the U. So I can go U and Y really quickly in, in the menus. 
Um, but in RAID, it's still not too far away for me to reach. I get to it without even really having to look at the keyboard too. I know it's a little bit further when you default, like where you default put your hand. But I found this was been has worked really well. Um, the other one that you might want to change is the free look, which is currently default default with the mouse wheel, pressing the mouse wheel down. Um, I find it's fine after you get used to it, but some people might want to change that one around. But you can change a lot of this stuff around. Now, uh, the sensitivity, I actually run at 800 DPI with 0.75 uh, as the default sensitivity, 0.55 for, for aiming. But guys, I get asked this question a lot, and it's really what you're used to, what you're comfortable with. Um, some people grow up with a really high sensitivity, and they'll be naturally good at that high sensitivity. Some are really low, and they'll do 40 flicks of the mouse pad to get to a 360. It's whatever you're used to. So it's a really common question, but guys, whatever you, you try and match it to whatever you use on like say CS or whatever game you play. From here, I'm gonna jump into a raid. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, the tricks and tips I use for looting, to speed up looting and to get away from being able to uh, get caught loot. Like I, I kill a lot of people when they're standing there looting someone. So this is how to speed up some of your looting uh, choices. All right, so when you're in a raid and you're looting, now I can loot two things at once because I have max level search. Um, and I just want to open up this so I can actually show you. Now, say there's an item inside a backpack and you want to you want to search it. See, you don't actually have to click the search button on top. You can literally just click any of the squares of the actual body. So it, like another example would just be over here. Come, come across to this one and you just click anywhere on these bits and it starts searching. Like I said, I've got level 51 so I can search two at a time. Um, and once you've searched it, now if you hold control, it'll go straight to the uh, backpack. So control left click, go straight to the back backpack, uh, and then if you uh, hold alt and left click, it'll go straight onto the person. You can also go straight from the scav onto the player, and that's the same with everything else. So say you wanted to put, I don't know, this rig straight on, you can put that on, and you can actually speed up moving a lot of stuff really quickly that way. Another thing to note is with money, if you want to get money straight into your, um, into your container, you don't actually need to either drag it across, and uh, anything else like that. You can literally just hold control, left click, and it'll go straight into your container. This helps speed that up a lot too. Now say I've got all this stuff in here, but I actually want to loot this shotgun really quickly. Um, the default button is delete, but you can actually just straight discharge by pressing the delete key. I've got it rebound to you. And then you've just gotten rid of it straight away. No need to right click and discard. And if you need to get rid of multiple items really quickly, you can. You can bring those items in nice and quick and throw them. It, it, it all happens nice and quick. The faster you get used to doing this stuff, it actually makes it really quick to loot lots of things. And you can do this straight from the actual uh, scav itself. You don't need to um, take it off the person. You could be like, okay, I want to chuck these straight on the ground for whatever reason. Um, say you wanted to chuck the rig on. Uh, you chuck all that stuff on the ground and then hold alt, put it straight on. And then you could actually, like, I don't know, chuck your stuff straight into the rig. So it actually makes it really quick. You can actually get this stuff going... And uh, with pra practice, you'll get a lot better at doing this. Another thing to notice here is my shotgun is now empty, right? Holds eight rounds. I can press R. It'll put one in. And say I wanted to always put three or four rounds in and get it ready to shoot again. Left click. Bam. Ready to go into uh, and start shooting again. Or I can press R again and it'll start loading. Go for it out. And we get the shotgun stopped. And then I can get back into doing it. So, if you need to get the couple of rounds in, get that shot off. You can do it nice and quick by doing that. I might have put this uh, spawn rate up a little bit high, but you're getting the point. Now, one more I want to show you. This is uh, not as commonly known, but it's uh, a nice little handy one. Say you want to put in, I don't know, for some reason, this. This one has better ammo than the six rounder, and you want to put that mag in. You hold R, you scroll the mouse wheel, and you can actually select which mag you want to put in. If you just press R by default, it'll put the mag with the most amount of ammunition in there. But if you actually want to select one specifically, you can do that. And if you're using a gun like an SKS, you can actually tell it to put rounds straight into the top through the breach instead of actually reloading a new magazine on if you've got some spare ammo sitting in your uh, rig or pockets. Now, another thing you can do with um, the stripping of weapons. If you were to strip a weapon inside your say, inventory or stash here, uh, and you were to do this, it would actually put it on the person because you're holding control and you're chucking it across to the person. 
But if you do it once it's in your inventory, or sorry, on your person, it actually goes the other way. Start down the bottom right, you can strip to the, uh, the, the weapon down completely. So it's just down to like uh, a shell like this. And so some parts, particularly scopes, flashlights, lasers, and some other stuff, sell to skier for slightly more than they do a mechanic. Now, this could be based off your trader level, not your rep, but your level. Um, so you might need to check with this. But generally, you will be able to sell more uh, stuff. Like if you go to sell a whole gun, it will only be able to sell, be sold to mechanic or propor, which mechanic sells for more. Um, but if you sell some of the parts to skier, you actually make more of a profit. And this is a little bit of a, a thing I do when I'm trying to really min max the amount of money I make. The last thing I'm going to show you right here, it's just to do with that whole delete key. Uh, the default button being delete, but I've rebound mine to use. So say I want to delete an item really quick. You'd normally press delete, and then you got to press Y, right, on your keyboard. But because I've got mine as YU, I could literally just delete like this. And just really get rid of items really quickly. And it's I find it like when there's certain items, so you, un, uh, you take out ammo out of an ammo box, and it's like... Got that little thing there, yeah, you got self-defense. Some artists just piss you off and it's not even worth going to the, across to vendor it. And you can just delete it like that nice and quick. So I've, I've belt fed a lot of information out here just to try and give you guys a better understanding. And hopefully some of this was helpful. Some of it will be like really obvious if you've been around for ages and other people will actually have a lot of new things showed to them here. So hopefully this was helpful for you, all of you out there. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. Got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. I am actually taking a four-day weekend off this weekend to uh, go see my dad back in Victoria. Um, but I will be back on Monday evening. I won't be doing a stream during my Monday morning. I'll be back Monday night. So uh, there'll be a late stream then. And then I'll go back to my normal schedule from Tuesday onwards. So lastly, guys... I'll see you next time. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. Digging a hole.